Good morning. Today is Thursday, October 12, 2023. Chapter 8 for Friday the 13th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as setups, again, it's PWR, honorable mention. It does have some support at various levels below, but that's about all I'm seeing. As you can see, Landry list kind of skinny tonight, and that's because the shorts, or a lot of the shorts, sold off pretty hard, which obviously is a good thing, but they're no longer set. Uh, uh, one stock, knock on wood, uh, the fine gravity in here is LFM. Go ahead and bump your stop on that. We're trailing fairly loosely in longer term trend following mode. Everything else is pretty much the same as far as, or the same as far as stops. We'll get to that in just one second. Not much to look at again tonight. The CLF still looks, still looks like it's in a lot of trouble in here, so I'm showing it once again. Uh, PWR. It looks okay. It just has a lot of support. It's going to catch a lot of support all the way down. If you really felt like you had to do something, that's probably about the best looking short out there. And again, the parameters uh, still are the same parameters from yesterday if you want to go ahead and take that trade. But I'm going to pass on that. So anyway, let's take a look at the S&P 500. Outside day down, it did close off its worst levels. It looks like it was getting fairly ugly for a while, but even though it came off its worst levels, this is obviously not a good thing. Back above the 30, or back below the 30 EMA, I should say. Still looking kind of toppy, and now it's now beginning to take on a bit of a head and shoulders top formation. You need a routine one day at a time, but that's getting a little bit concerning in here. Uranium is selling off once again, and the individual stocks are looking a little bit worse, uh, or, or looking worse, or not as good, I should say, as the, um, the overall sector. The individual stocks look worse is what I guess I'm trying to say. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ Composite outside day down there off its worst levels. It did close above the 30 EMA once again. So we've got about three days above only uh, one, maybe two days. Yeah, two days of Landry Light and now we're back to the 30 EMA once again. So back to zero. Still looks toppy in here. A few big up days though would put it past these prior little peak and that certainly would be a good thing but for now still, still looks like a head and shoulders top remains in place there let's take a look at the rusty rusty still kind of no bueno in here selling off pretty hard down two percent and change remaining in a short to intermediate term downtrend longer term just stuck in this silly sideways range as it has been for ever energy is not a whole lot to report there kind of flatsville still that retrace look to them and as you saw in the landry list they are uh, at least one that I showed that are beginning to set up to the short side and look toppy. There's a few more, but none are worth uh, going after as possible trades. Foods continue to implode in here. Not, that's not looking too good. Financials selling off fairly hard out of a pullback down a percent and change. Drugs stalled out in a retrace rally. So, so far, it looks like just that, a retrace rally. Again, you know, routine, one day at a time. Stop if you heard that before. Biotech getting really creamed in here, and it's been getting beat up fairly hard as of late. So downtrend so far remains intact there. Health services getting whacked, as you can see, multi-month lows. Pretty serious downtrend remains intact. So th that's the thing that I'm seeing is each day it's like a new sector gets hit especially hard. Looks like the defense stocks have slowed down in their ascent, or actually beginning to stall out, I should say. Selling off fairly hard today, off the worst levels. But it still looks like a big picture top remains in, top in place, even with the rally. Not sure what's wrong with my mouth tonight. <laughs> M&C selling off really hard in here. So it looks like a, stop, a top for sure remains in place there. I guess you should never use the word for sure when it comes to trading. Let's take a look at a couple more areas and we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Transports outside day down. Still looking ugly in here. Pretty serious downtrend intact. A little support back here, but after that, it doesn't have any support for a while. Let's take a look at software. Software outside day down. It's back above the 30 EMA, but still looking sort of toppy in here and range bound at best. It would take a breakout to new highs for me to get excited about that area. Semiconductors tried to rally, but came back in kind of Flatsville on the day. But it did end up a smidge, but still looking toppy in here. And until unless they can get past these prior peaks, I wouldn't get too excited about the semis. I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's like each day brings a new debacle du jour or debacle du jour. So stocks getting torpedoed, sectors getting torpedoed. So not looking too good. You know the routine. One day at a time, though. Any questions, Dave, DaveLander.com. Remember, have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.